Hey there, everybody. I uh, wanted to give you a little update on what's going down with us these days. I know it's, it's been far too long since we published a video. I am in the Columbia River Gorge in the Pacific Northwest. I am in Oregon. Our hometown is Portland, Oregon. And I am back here for a visit. And I am by myself. Megan is back in North Carolina and she is taking care of our dog, Sugar. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna fly back on the red eye and Megan is going to fly here. We're gonna switch. So I'm gonna take care of Sugar while she's out here visiting friends and family. And Sugar is really at the center of our little update here. It's November and a lot of cruisers are getting ready to head south down into the Caribbean. We've been doing boat preps all summer, making upgrades to our electrical system, our solar arrays, some interior cosmetic sort of stuff. It's been a busy, busy summer. But here we are at the time of year where you get ready to take off head back down to the islands and we are not going. It has been a really, really difficult decision for us, um, but it all comes back to our 14 and a half year old dog, Sugar. And she's been slowly declining over the last year or so, and that decline has really accelerated just in the last few months. She's still happy, and she is hungry, and she's loving, and she's as playful as she can be. But her mobility, her, her ability to walk is just, it's just gone. Her arthritis is really, really bad. We have tried all sorts of homeopathic remedies. She's on several drugs to help with the arthritis and the pain and uh, she's, she's just old so we were faced with the decision do we keep cruising doing the best we can with sugar to keep her comfortable or do we stop and the answer to that question would vary day to day because some days she'd be doing fine She's getting around well enough, and other days she just uh, she could hardly even move. So some days it looked like green lights, let's take off, and other days we we're like, obviously this is not fair to Sugar to have her out on the ocean when she's so uncomfortable. So how do you make that call? And in the end, we decided that we couldn't make the decision based on when she was doing really, really well. We had to make the decision on the fact that some days were worse than others. And those bad days, realistically, are just going to become more frequent and tougher for her. So what we've decided to do is park the boat a bit uh, in do some continued boat upgrades, use that time to spend with friends and family, do a little bit of land travel, and focus on making some money, which is the next part of this little update. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we are not retirees. Financially, we could continue to cruise probably for several more years without having to stop and, and make money. And I think one of the keys to, I won't say financial freedom, but more financial flexibility to head off for these adventures and then come back and then head off for these adventures is that we never play things too close. We always have a margin. We never have to stop to make money. We always keep a cushion. 
And what that does is it allows us to make choices based on our, our desires and not necessarily our needs. And by being a little bit more picky with how we make money and when we make money, we can really seize opportunities when they're there and then not try and squeeze water from a rock when the opportunity just isn't there. So we're going to focus on making some money. We'll probably spend a bit of that money on, uh, on making clarity as, as fine a boat as she can be, continuing to make upgrades, continuing to make her more livable. And, um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, that's a little update. I know it's kind of weird when sailing channels, you know, kind of just stop publishing, stop posting, stop making the videos. And all this is to say that we are taking a break from the cruising and the cruising videos, obviously, but we are not abandoning the lifestyle and we are not going to completely stop making videos. I Hopefully I'll have the time to make videos about uh, my aviation pursuits um, and maybe I'll make some videos about meteorology and I'll make some videos about uh, maybe about finance and trading and making money. Um, I know uh, just about everybody's interested in making money, right? So maybe I'll make some videos on that. So I hope that you don't unsubscribe from the channel and I really appreciate your subscriptions and the fact that you um, interact with me in the comments section and Megan also really loves it. So uh, we are not going to disappear, but it's going to be less about cruising in white sandy beaches and crystal clear blue waters here in the next few months uh, than it has been. So that's a bit of an update on, on our situation. And uh, well, again, I hope that you stick with us because uh, life is an adventure no matter what you're doing. You don't have to be out cruising the oceans. The whole rest of it, the lot of managing life is, is definitely uh, an adventure. So just shifting gears. Anyway, thanks for tolerating this long-winded update and um, stick with me because I do have some videos in the pipeline coming up. I was talking about the upgrades we've been making to Clarity. We've been talking about a huge increase in our solar capacity, our solar production, and we are doing some more cosmetic things to the boat. So stay tuned for that. All right, see you soon. Bye.